I'm using this uh, PDF file from uh, ulc.ac.uk. Again, tackling what uh, we were looking at the last time uh, at the second term, which is the stochastic term. Now, there are few things here. We need to understand what this uh, WT is. The next step we need to understand is how to scale this up and what is the uh, uh, standard deviation of WT or how are we going to scale this up. Now when we look at uh, WS uh, DWS we can conclude that WS DWS is half uh, DWT square minus half T. This half T comes down because of the time scaling effect that exists. So the WS DWS is half the square if W is equal to 0 ws is equal to half wt square minus half t and uh, this is where it, it it becomes more interesting now if if you if you look at what this final process is uh, standard final is a continuous uh, state so say, with independent gaussian increments the expected value of uh, wt is 0 w not is uh, 0 wt minus uh, ws so any time uh, this error term that uh, you are going to get is normally distributed uh, with 0 and t minus s. So this is how uh, it, it, it would look time. So proposed to minus matter description of Brownian motion. Now when you get this WT and playing around with uh, this WT becomes interesting. Now moving back uh, and forth a little bit how you are going to look at that that becomes interesting. Moving back to a file that uh, I was looking at, but uh, the concluding example here uh, would state that uh, WT WT is half W square minus half T. Now there is uh, uh, this solution of GBM by using uh, the Ito's lemma, and the Ito's lemma would help us uh, uh, to solve this, where uh, it would say that if you this S is this entire term. Uh, then it would probably say that f prime as uh, ds f double prime as ds so this is how uh, it, it's going to take things if you look at it uh, from here uh, and you say that dxt is equal to mu t plus uh, sigma t dbt and you say that dft is twice differentiable then you can say that uh, th this would still work now this is a little tricky but if you look deep down you can still say that uh, you can solve this by half uh, sigma square dt you, if you keep other thing as it is but when you do that uh, this thing gets uh, broken off and this thing sticks with uh, uh, dt and this sticks uh, with uh, db so when you uh, scale this up you have sigma bt and mu minus 1 square and uh, this BT is uh, something that you are going to look at. If, if if you look at this in a simpler way, if you don't want to take you, you have to look at what this uh, W2 would mean and the properties of WT that we were just looking at. So something like variance of this varies with time. Uh, expected value is zero. It's like a disturbance uh, that would uh, keep on uh, uh, get added. So that is the reason. So the solution for this is uh, log st by c is mu minus sigma square dt and sigma dwt where wt is uh, the final value that we are looking for what is wt uh, we can come here and we can look at what is wt so wt is something uh, whose expected value is zero and we are looking at the differences here uh, now wt2 minus wt1 is equal to wt2 and uh, wt minus wt0 is a normally distributed with 0 equal to t.